Uh, so I changed this to a, a three series pack and put on a balance charge lead and done away with the uh, switch mode stuff on the uh, data logger. Is a data logger. Um, so that will hopefully give us better uh, pressure readings. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, crash bingo time. Finally got the ping pongs in. Uh, so we got however many. 18 of them? No, yeah, four. 16 of them. 16 boys, mine. They'd be squished. We down small. Uh, a pair of lipos in. Um, one of them has been dunked in the uh, chain loop to try and waterproof it a bit. Show she what happens. Ben wants to make this serious. Um, he wants to put money on the outcome of this uh, bingo uh, bingo game. He reckons uh, number seven was the uh, last one to pop. Right. And I reckon. Uh, I didn't see it, so I don't know. Yeah, let's go for. Yeah, I reckon mm. eight. Eight's a lucky number. But it's a bit close to your number. It, it's uh, the Chinese really like number. Ten. Yeah. Ten's in my head. Let's have ten. I'm going to have ten, and we're going to put five pounds on the outcome. And anyone who's closest to the number, and then if we draw, then we need to do it again. I think, I think that's a, a fair bet. So, so but somebody's got to edit the video though, and we'll probably see which what we should last the longest. Can't really be us running it again. <laughs> right, slight hiccup. Um, this hose for the pressure washer is quite old, and the um, the metal's kind of rusty. So uh, we're going to try and patch hydraulic hose with a bit of inner tube and some uh, insulating tape. <laughs> Right, let's pressurize. See what happens. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's them going. That's the balls popping. Yeah. <laughs> It's like tw 20 meters head here, so. Uh, <laughs> you need to talk for about 20 meters. Yeah, less than 20 meters. Right, let, let's try the battery test. I kind of expected that. So that's off. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. We got a few PSI, we got enough to squash the ping pong, but um, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Don't think we're going to get to see fizzing lipos in water. Hey, I'll save something for next time. So you like the new M impact drill? Beautiful. Okay. Amazing, man. Everybody should have one of these, and everyone should have a, a pair of auto wire strippers as well. It should be mandatory for everybody to own one. Crash bingo! <laughs> Hello there. How did you fail? Got some water in there. Even a low pressure. It's interesting. But they're still fine. 
not fizzing and exploding to fart. And the balls <laughs> magically recovered from their squashing. <laughs> so apart, apart from 15. <laughs> 15 was unlucky. <laughs> he released it there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, LiPos are lithium polymer batteries, and everybody knows that lithium reacts violently with water. Apparently. Apparently. But these batteries must be well enough sealed that they don't fizz and burst into flames immediately. <laughs> Then the bell it turned to a reposo. What she said, what don't she know the more? Then the bell it turned to a reposo. What she said, what don't she know the more? Non più vrai questi bei panacchini. Quel cappello leggero galante. Quella chioma, quell'orio brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco This printer is still doing my head in. Um, this guy, I don't know, it's, I think it's trying to teach me to enjoy the process and really get into it. Embrace the inner geek. I think that's kind of what you might need to do at the moment if you want a 3D printer like this. In future, I think I'll be more careful. And uh, try to bear in mind that the cases of all these um, FETs will be at 24 volts effectively because they're just going through the low resistance heaters. Uh, and when you feed that directly into the um, LCD panel, it makes a horrible squeaky sound as it dies. Anyway, uh, be a week or so before I get a replacement. On the upside, the trace from the data log is so much cleaner. It's unreal. Lovely crisp clean, just without the um, PWM stuff. Um, switch mode converters. So much clearer, just need a bit of calibration. Set it up, let me get the new scope on it and get a decent uh, signal level. We're good, much better. <laughs>